We received um, some gifts and supplies. Thank you very much. Now, I am going to say before I get started <clears throat> that uh, most of them are empty and have been used. I've had them for quite a while. I'm very sorry, um, but all this stuff delivered during the peak of my illness, and I was just struggling to just get everyone fed and cared for. Um, so I know my mail times are always behind in the videos, but this mail time is behind in filming, uh, and, and that's why everything's used, but it was, it was very, very, very much appreciated and, um, loved. So let's get started. <clears throat> and I do, I'm still struggling, uh, with my breathing, so you'll have to please excuse that as well, uh. Um, but the first set of gifts is from Carla, and Carla sent over a case <clears throat> of the Fancy Peas Poultry and Beef Grilled. Um, there's still some left in there, but that is one of the staples that we use here. And then my very, very favorite uh, paper towels, they're the Viva Select Size. Um, I just like them because they're very soft. Uh, and, but they're really absorbent, um, so you don't have to use as many. And then she sent over my very favorite toy assortment. Um, I've talked about this many, many times. Um, it does come with a tunnel, and I have already used the tunnel. Um, it is in the nursery as we speak, uh, that one and a big one. Um, but I really like this assortment. Uh, you do get different things sometimes, but it always, always comes with a tunnel, a wand, um, and then an assortment of other toys that all the kittens like. And a lot of stuff, one of the things I really like about this is a lot of things come with feathers on them. And kittens just really seem, even at a small age, to respond to toys with feathers. So, thank you, Carla, very, very much. Um, as you can see, it is all being used. And then the next set is from Naomi. And it says, enjoy your gift. Give the kittens a kiss for me from Naomi. And uh, I do. I kiss them constantly. I will tell them one of them is from you. You can't help but kiss kittens. I mean, seriously. Um, and she sent over three cases of food. Uh, there is the Fancy Peas Poultry and gr Beef Grilled. And then a case of the Poultry and Beef Pate. And a case of the Seafood Grilled. Um, and, you know, once again, they're my main staples. <coughs> Excuse me. Everybody eats them. Um, I've yet to find, especially from these three, um, I've yet to find a kitten that, that doesn't like something out of them. And then she also sent, this is a $25 Amazon gift card. It's actually not in here because I have already used, I'm so sorry Naomi. Um, but I already used it. I used it to buy food. I bought a bag of the, um, this, not this, I bought the Purina one, uh, the kitten food. Uh, the nursery kittens really, really, really like the kitten food. Um, it's really funny because kittens out here prefer the blue wilderness. And then the kittens in the nursery prefer the Purina One kitten. It's so weird. It, but it happens, you know, like some want one and some want the other. Uh, so I bought a big bag with the $25 card. I bought a big bag of the um, kitten Purina One. And then I... Um, thing of these little toys uh, they're just like little bouncy balls um with that so thank you for that as well and she sent a big bag of the purina one healthy metabolism um and uh i always when i get these big bags i put them in um, the airtight containers so that's why that's empty and then she sent over Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta catch my breath. Um, she sent over a bag of the fuzzy balls, and this is actually um one of my favorite things to have because 
they can start playing with this at a very young age. When they first start to play with toys, um, it's difficult to find ones that are appropriate. And uh, the fuzzy balls I really like because not only they're shiny, their texture is, you know, the kittens like their texture, but they're really soft. Um, there's no pointy parts. There's no parts that can choke, you know, they're big enough to where they don't swallow them and choke. Um, so this is one of the very first toys that um, I give the kittens to learn to play with. And I was almost out. Um, so that's, I love these. Love, love, love these. <coughs> Sorry, I had to move or I was about to get attacked. Um, so thank you, Naomi, for the food and the supplies and the toys. Um, they are very much appreciated by both me and the kittens. And then um, Janet sent over the next batch. Enjoy your gift from Janet. And Janet sent over a bag of the Blue Wilderness Kitten Chicken. Um, this is the other one that I was talking about just a second ago um, of the kitten food. I really, really like this food. Um, and like I said, the kittens out here really, really like this food. And actually, I feed it like, this is Fig's favorite hard food. <laughs> it's hilarious because I keep a big bowl out for the kittens out here. Um, and Fig links their treats. Uh, Fig mostly eats wet food, but he he like sees his like treats. It's really funny. Anyway, um, to stop rambling, uh, Janet also sent over a box of the Fancy Feast Poultry and Beef Pate, a staple, and then two of the tree trunks. And let me tell you how excited I am about these tree trunks. Uh. I really honestly looked and looked and looked for these and all I could find was the small ones um because you know I don't know and then <clears throat> a bunch of viewers found them uh, and I was able to put them on my wish list and I am so excited because these are perfect they're perfect they're perfect to put in the cages they're perfect to put in the kitten closet or in like when I have to keep them in the spa which I don't have any in the spa. I haven't had any in spa in a while. Spa in a while. Sorry about that. Um, but they're perfect. They're the perfect size. The opening's perfect size. I just love them. So thank you very much, Janet. Whew. And um, the kittens really, really uh, will have a good time with these. And thank you, everyone, for um, your gifts. We have another mail time. I'm so excited about this one. Um, well, I'm excited about all of them. Huh. Uh, excuse any dirt uh, you see on the floor. I have been going in and out doing the ferals. It's so cold here. And last night, it got to 28 degrees. And I had kind of cleaned out all the ferals um, stuff, but... Today, I really uh, took my time and did it, but I'm just so excited to see food. We were, we are just going through food like you wouldn't believe, and I honestly, we were, I had one box left, and I, I don't know how that happened. Uh, normally, I'm better about going and getting food when we run out, but thank you so much, everyone. Um, anytime I put, you know, that we're out of food, we always really, um, People really send some, and it is wonderful. Uh, I, I'm some of the stuff probably isn't all here because I know, like this is from Jamie, and it's from Walmart. So, and I know she, I believe when she messaged me, she said that she had also gotten some from Amazon. But I need everything, and I don't want to use it all like I normally do, and then just have empty boxes. So I'm just gonna do this, and then. I'll film anything else that comes later. Um, but these just arrived and they are from Jamie. And like I said, they're from Walmart. And um, there is a, a jug of the special kitty litter. There is a 12 pack of the kitten food. It's the chicken and the salmon. 
is there is a 24 pack of the seafood classic pate and we actually haven't had this in a while um we have had the seafood grilled but we haven't i don't i don't know why sometimes i just forget things i guess um so this was actually what i want to open because um they really like this and i haven't had it and then there is a case of the kitten turkey and ocean whitefish tuna um for the kittens that they really really like and a case of the salmon and shrimp beast grilled um in gravy and then this one is one i don't think we've had before they are the fancy feast creamy delights chicken feast with a touch of real milk um so i'm actually i'm excited to try these especially with the little kittens uh and the little ferals because they are they eat wonderfully but um they're kind of bony and i'm not sure why because they eat really well they have a really good appetite and they have really good poop but they're they're kind of bony so i'm hoping with the milk it will um plump them up a little bit uh so i am as you see i've already opened it and uh that is going to be tried as soon as i'm done finishing as soon as i am finished filming this <laughs> so thank you jamie very very much for um the walmart delivery <clears throat> and then we have some food from laura prestridge and like i said if there's more stuff than this uh, i will film it at a later date but i obviously need it <laughs> look i just got this yesterday um morning it's ridiculous and Jamie sent, no, Laura, sorry about that, Laura. Laura sent over two cases of the Fancy Feast, Fancy Feast Poultry and Beef, um, which is what I start everyone out on, so it always gets used really quickly. Um, and I prefer to feed Hope Pate if she's eating this. Now, she goes back and forth. Um, you know, she has the Purina Pro or, or whatever, um, but sometimes she just won't, for some reason, won't eat it. And so then I'll give her like a can of one of these and then the next time she'll eat it. it it's very strange. Um, and then there is a case or two cases of the poultry and beef grilled, um, which everybody loves. So, thank you very, very much, Laura, for the food. Like I said, I was, I just kept running out. I don't know. I'm not sure why. And then, oh, well, I'm just going to read it. I have it stuck in there because I had to use the box it came in um, for something else. And this is from Evelyn. It says, Dear Stephanie, thank you so much for all the love and care you give all the babies as you foster them. Evelyn, um, you're welcome, Evelyn. But it's my pleasure to do so because I love all of them just as much as you guys. Um, they are my life. And she sent over a case of the um, but, uh, disinfecting wipes which are my favorite hands down um and i needed one so they've already been opened and then a case of the fancy feast poultry and beef pate um so thank you very very much evelyn as you can see uh it was very much needed laura sent us over some gifts and some food um and I'm going to do this one first because I'm really excited about it. Um, this is a, a cat scratcher, of course. And it has another cat scratcher inside that comes out. And I see these types all the time. Um, I am very big uh, follower of Instagram for cats. Uh, not like personal Instagram. But I have so many foster people that I follow. 
on Instagram and a bunch of them have these and I just always think it is so cute uh, when they play on them so I'm really excited about this thank you so much Laura she also sent over a bunch of springs I always forget about the spring toys until someone finds one under a couch or in a corner and then they start playing with it um, the big cats and the kittens love these springs for some reason um, but I never ever remember until one of them shows up out of nowhere and that's what happened when I put these on the wish list uh, Prim had actually found one and she knocked it under the door of the nursery <laughs> which is not good I know because of sanitation um, but the kittens went insane over this little spring because they had never played with them before. So I thought, oh, I went in and got that spring out and, um, put these on the wish list. She also sent over a case of my very favorite baby wipes. It's the Amazon, uh, brand baby wipes. I love, love, love them. And then she sent over two cases of the Fancy Feast Poultry and Beef Grilled. Uh, it's one of the staples that I that I call I call them staples um, of the diet around here. And as you can see, <laughs> they have been used already. So thank you very very much, Laura, um, for the gifts. I am very excited about them. Thank you. Okay, Gail sent over a bunch of supplies for both me and the kittens and cats. Um, thank you, Gail, so much. And then she also sent me a wonderful um, letter. And um, I did not realize this, but Gail, I did get the uh, robe you sent at the beginning of the year. Uh, I did not film it because it did not come with any slips or um, anything like that. So, I didn't know who it was from. Uh, but, I did. I loved it. Thank you. And, I will give Prim um, Pets and Kisses from you. Uh, but, and I'm not going to individually go through every single uh, thing because... The, Gail sent a lot. Thank you, thank you, Gail. Uh, but I am going some of this stuff. Look, look at this. It's a little notebook. This is like the stationary corner. Is that not precious? That really reminds me. If y'all remember Sarah, it just really reminds me of Sarah. And um, there was a bunch of Christmas cards, blank Christmas cards which I'm I really, really, really am excited about. And then my favorite pens, the G2s, um, and this cute butterfly notebook. And then there were um, several bags of beauty supplies, lotions, uh, body washes, that kind of thing. And then my son was excited about this. Uh, it's like glass cleaners and stuff like that. And he's really kind of OCD. And this, he was like, oh, I'm taking it and I'm keeping all my glass stuff in there. So, Gail, you made him very happy about that. And then there's lavender oil and gloves and hand sanitizer. And then some jingly balls for the cats and kittens, which I, everyone knows they love. I, they especially love them at 3 o'clock in the morning. And then uh, I really needed one of these two. Uh, I have two, and I use one in the nursery and one in the main house. But what I didn't have was one for the actual cages. You know, I use the recycled litter, and it gets everywhere. And I don't want to use, I have actually been using the nursery one in the cages, but then I spray it afterwards with the, um, Oh, that, my cleanser, where is it? It's not here where I can get it. Um, my sanitizer that I love. And, you know, and then you have to wait for it to dry. So, this is going to be the one I use for the cages and the um, crates. Because I really needed one 
for that. I just never think to get it. And then a big fleece throw. You can never, ever, when you are doing rescue, have too many uh, blankets, especially fleece ones. And then, oh, and these. Look, there's a little lamb and a little, I'm, I, I haven't opened this yet because I want to keep it. I'm going to actually put it in this one because it's wrapped up really nice. I'm going to put it in my diaper bag, um, wrapped up to keep it sanitized. So, if I go to pick up a new one or if I forget to bring toys or whatever, um, that is ready to go. Um, really like that it's all wrapped up. And then, huh, I have already actually read most of this. It is so cute. It's how to live with a neurotic cat. And it is really true. It's like... A, parody how to do things like um and it also talks about like how as soon as they're born you know like their eyes open and then it says something like then they close on I don't know I can't remember I'm not as good as whoever wrote this book um Stephen Baker um uh, but it's really good it's really really funny um and then, oh, and some um, booties or uh, house shoes, which, oh, they're so soft. Love, love, love. And some, um, these are what I use for the feral cats. And even my big cats, like <laughs> the ones that aren't feral, um, really like these brushes. The only brushes they actually really like are these and then the one that you know it's big and it retracts to clean off um so you know that that's really cool and then the last thing i'm going to show and then i'll just um pan over everything is these mats and they're really cute there's christmas ones and then there's ones with puppies on them and a pretty park scene um, and I am going to actually lay some blocks on them to flatten them out because oh, they're really cute and it's going to be Christmas time soon. So this will go at the front door. And so, and then, oh, also, there was also some snacks, um, some chocolate and that kind of thing, but it had started to melt a little bit. So I stuck it in the refrigerator and then I ate it. <laughs> so... Gail, I did get these snacks, um, but they're gone. Thank you very, very much for thinking of not only me, and, but the, no, I would have said Gail, but I'm not editing this, is thank you very much for thinking of not only the cat and kittens, but me as well. Thank you, Gail. Gina sent us some gifts. Um... Not included, and here is a self-heating mat. Um, it's a really thick, uh, pretty tan-colored heated mat. Uh, but I had it in with Luna, so it's not here. Um, that's also um, kind of what these are. These are indoor mats, but they're this... Um, I don't know what you would call these weird, but they're really warm. Like, they, I don't know how, but they, they really keep warm. And, you know, Luna's body temperature is all over the place. And so, that's what these are for. But the heated, the other mat is in with her right now. And then she also sent a 40-pack of the Friskies Shreds, uh, which I'm about to <laughs> open. Um, that's what gave me the idea to go ahead and film. And then, this is really funny, um, Gina, I got, I'm sorry, all, I left one in there, I took the rest out because I've really been using them, <laughs> um, they are little heat packs, and you snap the little, um, sorry, my son is talking in the background, and I did tell him I was filming, but he is still talking, um, you snap the little metal disc in, and it, uh, there's some kind of chemical reaction that heats these up. And they have come in really handy. Um, the rest are actually up on the counter waiting to be boiled because you boil them. And then they go back to this and then you can snap them again. Um, but I love these. They're called Snappy Heat. 
uh, and they come in round and rectangle. And then there is a case of the Friskies Pate um, Poultry Platter Pate, and I was completely out of this, uh, so I'm very, very happy. We are just going through food like you wouldn't believe, the wet food especially, like you wouldn't believe. Um, and then there is the Kitten uh, Blue Wilderness Chicken Formula, which is the first uh, hard food that I start all kittens on. Um, and this one, and I think it's Purina One or Purina Pro, I can't remember, but um, this is the one that I start them on first. So, thank you, Gina, very, very much. Um, I know some of it's not here, but it is being used, um, and all this will as well. Thank you. And Evelyn sent us a carrier. It says, Dear Stephanie, thank you so much for all the love and care you give all the babies as you foster them. From Evelyn K. Um, thank you, Evelyn. I love all the babies. Um, it's what I do. I love them to pieces. I have not put the carrier together yet um, because I am um, waiting until the day before it is to be used. Uh, because just for sanitation purposes, I, I like to keep them in the plastic. That way I know I don't have to clean, um, that one with the bleach. Uh, I, I do not understand why I need so many. I do understand why I need so many carriers, but it does seem a bit over the top. But say for instance, the six pack kittens, you know, when they go to be spayed and neutered, they each have to be in their own carrier and it has to be a hard carrier it can't be like the soft ones or anything and I don't I've never I've just I'm, the six pack kittens were the most kittens I've ever had done at a time other than TNR work but TNR they go in the trap so that that's a whole nother thing but a couple of days before the six pack kittens um spay neuter I thought oh my goodness I only have four carriers and how bad is that that I said I only have four carriers? I mean, that's ridiculous. So, I thought, you know what? I probably will never do more than six at a time, but I need to have at least six. So, I put two more on my wish list. Um, but, uh, then a friend of mine who has one of these and doesn't like it, which I don't understand because these are my very, very, very favorite. I don't understand people that don't like top load carriers. Uh, I told her that, but she doesn't. She doesn't like them. Um, gave me one that looks exactly like this. So, now I have six. And I'm so happy. So, thank you, Evelyn, so much. And everyone, just pray that I don't ever have more than six. <laughs> and Carla sent us some presents. Uh, it says, hi, community. Enjoy your gift with love from Carla Head and her cat, Miss Kitty. Thank you, Carla, and give Miss Kitty some pets and kisses for me. Um, Carla and Miss Kitty sent over a uh, dental kitty chew wheel. It's pet stages. I love these. Um, if you've been watching me for a long time, you'll know uh, that I actually have used these for a long time. I uh, keep, I have about four three um however so, like half of them i keep in the freezer and it does tend to make them brittle over time and so these little things come off and that's why i put another one the last one that i got out of the freezer they started coming off and i don't want the kittens you know to swallow that or anything so i had to get rid of it um but they work they do work really well when they're in the freezer the kittens really seem to enjoy them and I really do think it helps with their teething. And um, so I just thought, well, I saw it and I thought, well, I'll put it back on my wish list. So thank you, Carla. You are really helping the kitten's little mouths. And then she sent a $25 Petco gift card, um, which, you know, I buy all kinds of, I'll buy food or cat trees, just whatever I need. I actually am so disorganized at the moment. I have no idea <laughs> what I need. But I will figure it out. And then she sent a case of the Fancy Feast Poultry and Beef Grilled. It is empty. Like I said um, earlier, 
I am going through food like you wouldn't believe. You know, the six pack kittens are really big now. Hope's appetite is just really, really good. Um, you know, it, we're just going through a lot, a lot of food. The feral kittens' appetite is great. Um, but the thing is, by the time you see this mail time, because it's going to be at least probably a month in the future, <laughs> I'll have all new kittens. <laughs> oh, I hate that they're so behind. I'm so sorry, guys. But I appreciate you so much. And thank you, Carla, uh, for the supplies. Janet sent us some wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, it says, enjoy your gift from Janet Stemper. And I am going to confess, I read this immediately upon receiving it. It is, darling, I love you. Poems from the heart of our glorious mutts and all our animal friends. Um, and it is by Daniel Labinsky, illustrated by Patrick McDonald. Uh, it actually is about cats as much as dogs. I would say there's more cat um, poems or sayings uh, than dogs. But I will say I, I love to read. If you've watched me long enough, you know this. And um, there's one in here especially about um, not knowing your cat's birthday because they were either stray or feral, you know. Oh, and it just, it is really good. So, if you are looking for a really cute um, animal book, this is it. It's so, so cute. Um, and I did. I read it, like, immediately. I didn't even actually open the box this came in uh, until after I had read this. It's so sad. I'm so sad. Um, but thank you, Jenna. It's very cute. And then she sent a case of the Fancy Feast Delights with Cheddar, which is a favorite, favorite. It actually just came um, this morning. It came separate. So, I think it just took longer um, for the delivery. That's why it's not been opened yet, but I will open it today because these anything with cheese in it goes quickly. And then, uh, she also sent a case of the Fancy Feast Seafood Grilled, which I have opened and started to use. And then I was so happy to see this. Because it's the Sunbeam Heated Throw um, Micro Plush. And we, I have one. I have one already. And I actually put it out for Chica. Because Chica gets really cold. Um, you know, I don't have carpet on my floors. Uh, so my floors, no matter how warm it is inside, they're always going to be a little bit colder in the winter. And so... One of the things that Chica loves is heated blankets. Well, I have now discovered that fit, that Prim also loves heated blankets, but Prim will not share. So, if Chica does not get to her blanket first and Prim is on it, Chica cannot get to her blanket because Prim is ferocious. Um, Chica is not scared of any cat ever until Prim came along. And Chica will walk all the way around wherever Prim is just so she doesn't have to walk by her. <laughs> and I know it's sad, but it is kind of funny because Prim is smaller than she is. <laughs> like, smaller. And she is, Chica is scared to death of her. Loves Fig. Chica and Fig love each other. But she Chica sees Prim, and nope, she's out of there. So, I wanted them each to have their own. Because um, Prim actually enjoys sitting somewhere else. Uh, and so, I'm going to put this in the spot that Prim likes to sit in. So, then she'll leave Chica's alone. So, thank you, Janet, um, for helping with the um, battle that has been going on in our house. <laughs> But also, thank you for all of the presents. Laura Prestridge sent us some presents. And, um, I had, I didn't clean it up because I wanted to show that the bag did burst open. Like, I didn't just use it. <laughs> and, it's Thanksgiving tomorrow and I'm, like, doing five million hundred things. But, I really need, I really needed that. It's actually, I've already cleaned as much of it up as I could and put it in its little container. 
So, Laura sent over um, one of these. Oh my gosh, and it came already. Oh, it's taped. Uh, it came already put together. I was so happy. I was like, oh, what is that? And then I opened the box and it just pulled right out. Um, but it is for, um, I have so much medicine. Oh, I'll show you. Well, I can show you a little. Um, but look at that. That's medicine. <laughs> and that's just like the medicine I use like a lot. I have other medicines and like supplements and that kind of thing in the pantry and i'm constantly running trying to find it looking back and forth and uh, and so i just thought you know what i've got to get better organized really honestly i volunteered at the shelter uh not too long ago a couple days ago well you'll remember because it's when i brought home the siamese kitten and the other kittens um for the thanksgiving holiday and they're really organized. They have like these kind of things. And I was like, I need that in my life. Um, so that's what that is uh, for. And I'm so excited about it. I mean, and it even has like these little things on top. I'm so excited. Um, she also sent over some yesterday's news, which was wonderful. I was out of. I did order some. But hers got here before mine did. And she ordered hers after mine, I know, because I was watching the wish list. Uh, so, I don't know what the deal is with that, but so excited to see that. It has already been put to use. And then she sent over a case of the Fancy Feast Poultry and Beef Grilled. It is always wonderful to see food. So, thank you very, very much, Laura, for, um, the supplies. I am so excited. Sharon and Sunday sent over some food, and I am so excited about it. And I believe she also sent over two big boxes of her um, blanket squares and her heat pad um, disc holders and that kind of thing. But I'm actually going to go through that separately because um, a couple of things, she's got a couple new things, and they're really, really cool. Um, and... It is the day before Thanksgiving, and I just don't have time to do that, and I don't want them to get lost. So, um, Sharon and Sunday, I'm so happy to see, I'm always so happy to see food, but really, really right now, because I do not want to go to the grocery store. It is terrible this time of year. I'm so late. It's terrible. Anyway, she sent over three cases of Fancy Feast, a case of the poultry and beef pate, a case of the poultry and beef grilled and a case of the seafood grilled which pretty much covers the bases i'm so excited thank you sharon so much give sunday lots of pets from me and i promise you as soon as thanksgiving's over i'm gonna film all of your beautiful um new um i call them blanket square you know i I've said this a hundred times. I don't know exactly what to call them, but I love them. Um, and it may actually get attached to this. I don't know. Y'all know how terrible I am at filming. But thank you again, Sharon.